Hello everyone, it's Fine Seti, and today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin and Ethereum. Let's get right into it with Bitcoin. So guys, on the Bitcoin chart, we had here in white, the Wyckoff distribution pattern. And luckily, as I was saying in the previous videos, we had these two support and resistance lines right here. This one, this red one, and this red one. And we needed to break above this red one. So going past 57,000, come back down for a retest go once again above it and close above the previous rejection point. And that's where we are at right now. So we have confirmed that this Wyckoff bearish distribution pattern is not going to play out. And that's very, very, very good news for everybody who's in Bitcoin. And I've got two price targets for you as well. Remember that this was a volume confirmed breakout. So all of the signals are here for this distribution pattern to be annihilated. So let's move on with the short term patterns. What we have here on the Bitcoin chart is a bit of a flag pattern. So if I very roughly just draw two quick little trend lines here, you see that we have a pretty solid flag forming. And of course, we need to draw the staff. And if we take the staff of this flag and put it here, we see that short term, we should be going back to our all time high around the 62,000 US dollars. And I do think that if we're going back to 62,000, we're going all the way up to our previous all time high around here, around the 65,000 US dollar levels. And we'll probably see that by the end of this week. So we'll be back at the new all time high. And at the moment that we go back to the new all time high, well, our only other price prediction is to look at the Fibonacci retracement levels. And as always, we're looking for this 1.618 level. We would be going all the way up to 76,000. That would be the next leg up of this bull run. And I do think that we could hit that definitely before the end of May. That's exceptionally realistic. So my short term price target for Bitcoin is approximately 62 and a half thousand US dollars. And I do think you can take this trade right now if you see this video in the moment that it's coming out, because we did just confirm above this breakout of this resistance line that I'm pointing to right here on the charts. So this is the moment to hop into this trade. This is the price target 62,000 that leaves a room for a move of about 6.6%. As always, if you're doing professional trading, you would be using leverage. But then in the longer run for people in the holding portfolio or for people who have a bit of a longer time frame, like to the end of May, we're probably going to see 76,000 US dollars for Bitcoin. It might stop at 75,000 because that's like a psychological barrier. Anyway, those are my price predictions for Bitcoin. Let's move on now to Ethereum. And as we see here on the chart, Ethereum has been very good at confirming the W breakout patterns that I've been calling in my videos. Once again, subscribe if you want to get these videos in the moment that they're coming out. And I did say that in the very, very, very short term, we would be going to the 3000 US dollar levels. And the reason for that was this Fibonacci retracement level. If we take it from the high to the low, this is going back to about the middle of April. Well, you see here on the chart that the 1.618 level was approximately 30,090 US dollars. That's why from the moment that we broke out from this W, this is the price target that I was calling in the medium term, right? So medium term would be like within two weeks. I was calling that all the way back here when we we're still at 2,000 300 US dollars. So once again, congratulations to everybody who hopped in on that moment. But right now we would be looking for, hey, so what's the next move up for Ethereum? And well, we have no volume to look at. We have pretty crazy Fibonacci retracement levels right now. Well, if we want to see where this current pump is going to end, I just found something in the charts, which I can't believe we missed. Actually, let me remove some stuff here. Well, if we look here on the chart, we have a pretty obvious W pattern happening. And I'm going to draw that for you guys right now. And I really can't believe we missed this. And this pattern here would be taking us a little bit higher still on this move up. I think it's around the 3,300 US dollar levels. Let's find out. So from the bottom of the W pattern to the top of the W pattern, and we take it from the breakout, which was, I guess, right around here, we see this volume stick coming in, right? So let's just say it was right around there that we actually broke out. Well, as you can see, we're pretty much already at the price target here. Uh, we, we might go a couple of hundred dollars higher, but that's like a very small price move of about, oh, that's still a price move of about 6% until we totally hit the price target. But I do think here that considering that this was a price move 
of about 28% overall, we are pretty much mostly done with this pattern. And we are now waiting for the next pattern to come about in the charts. Now, if you want to really look for the next levels, well, we can look at the higher Fibonacci retracement levels. So if we were to then look at, for example, the three times level, well, that would be taking us well into the 4000s. And I do think that we can easily see that still within this bull run and all these people claiming $10,000 Ethereum. Well, there's quite a few reasons for that, actually. And the main one being that right now, nobody else really has a compelling network to do smart contracts on, which means that as of right now, any serious player in the market who wants to experiment with smart contracts is going to need to do that on the Ethereum network. Now that is going to change very shortly, but I think that Ethereum is still going to keep their dominance in the market regarding that regard for at least the next year, which means that they could easily, easily still this year hit the 10,000 US dollar levels. So that's all I'm going to have for you guys regarding Bitcoin and Ethereum today, but stay tuned because I'm going to put out a video for Cardano, Polkadot, and Binance Coin a bit later today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm going to see you in the next one, hopefully. If you got smart today, and you think this was a great video that more people need to see, make sure to hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm and grow our awesome community here on YouTube. And subscribe if you want to see more from me, and you had a good time here. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you hopefully in the next one. Bye!